know what they are planning to do. They want to invite all the maidens in this kingdom. Maidens who are beautiful by their own standard. Now that is not what I want. If that is not what you want, make me know what you want. Are you possibly saying that you want to marry a maiden that is not beautiful? You shut up. Will you shut up? I've always told you, learn to talk less and listen more. from your father. Okay. He bricked me on what you said and detailed me to talk with you. But when I got to the to your quarters in the palace, you were not there. And little did I know you are here looking for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to see the chief priest. Mm -hmm. And he said he spoke to you and my father on what the gods have said about my marriage process. So I just want to know what did he tell you? You went to the chief priest and he, he didn't tell you what he said? Uh, well, he said uh, I can speak to you or my father. Where I cannot speak to my father, I can speak to you because uh, you cannot mislead the prince of this kingdom. <sighs> my prince. Do you ever think that you can find another woman in this kingdom that can be better than one Yuma that was groomed for you since she was a child? Uh, my elder, are you by that question restricting me to this kingdom? I mean, can't I find an, a, a woman from other kingdoms around? The truth is that if you marry a woman from another kingdom, it would mean that you have succeeded in terminating royalty from your family. Mm. And it will mean that you will be the last king to emerge from your family. But why would you say that? Okay. Any man who must be king in Okwe Kingdom must be a complete Okwe man. That is to say, his mother must come from Okwe. Now, if you reject one Yuma and marry a woman from another kingdom, it means that your son cannot be king. And I, I know you would not want that to happen. My prince, make up your mind for one Yuma and make it fast. It is your call. Oh. Hmm. My friends, ever since you came back, you've been down. Now you know what the problem is. Obuefi Obukalo has introduced a new twist into it. I am so confused. Confused? Now you know what confuses my friends. Maybe I can help. If I marry from another kingdom, my son will not emerge as the next king after me. Why? Anyone who must emerge as king must be a complete man of Okwe. It means his mother must come from Okwe. I don't understand. Woman Yuma is the maiden you are to marry. And she's from this kingdom. Why are you talking about a maiden from another kingdom? I am not going to marry my Yuma. No. I don't believe you're saying this. Did you see that maiden? Your parents made no mistake in selecting her. She's the most beautiful maiden I've ever seen in my life. If you, why would you say you don't marry a maiden like that? Now I know that you are not as intelligent as I've always believed you are. From now henceforth, I forbid you 
from saying anything that has to do with my wife. <laughs> but my friends, you don't have a wife yet. We are still in the process. Will you shut up? Forbid you. Don't speak again. Topic that has to do with the woman I want to settle down with is too big for you. And I forbid you from ever discussing it. Now get out. I called you here this night to ask you an important question. <clears throat> I'm listening. <clears throat> you see, many men in this kingdom, mainly here in Awaire village, do not know what is happening in secret. That you have been sleeping with Ogon, the daughter of Obuefi Onze. But I know true or false. What kind of nonsense question is that one? Huh? What kind of rubbish question is that one? Did Ogona in any way inform you I'll be sleeping with her? I called you here this night to ask you questions and it will be appreciated if you answer those questions and don't ask me any. I don't care about the question you are, you, you are trying to ask me. There is an allegation going on here. And I want to get to the root of this stupid allegation. Did she in any way inform you that I'll be sleeping with her? It is now very clear to me that they are trying to deviate into nonsense. And I'm, I'm not ever going to give you the opportunity to take upper hand in this discussion. I want to ask you an important question, Jidonfo. <clears throat> Do you have any plans for that maiden? I mean, good plans. Are you just damaging the girl? What kind of rubbish, rubbish question is that one? Huh? What do you mean by, am I just trying to damage the girl? Wait, Ekulu, did you in any way invite me here to insult me or what? Do you know your, your, your biggest problem? Your biggest problem is that you cannot beat me. You can't even raise a fight with me. Because I'll just kill you and bury you here. Thank you. Thank you. Listen to me. I want you to stay away from that maiden because I want to make her my wife. I can't work, I'm going. <laughs> you want to make her your wife? You're not serious. Ekulu, you are not serious. You know, I actually called you to fulfill all righteousness because I know from day one you have no plan. You have no good plan for any woman in this kingdom. I know you inside out, you love embrace But there's something I want to tell you. Back off. Ogona is the one I want to marry. All the ones you have done already with her, go. God give you. I don't want to disturb you. But don't go near that girl again because I'm a good person now. Go near that girl again. I your one glass, one name. You want me to drink? Only an in Avon here and in Lan ever. Move you. That we are here this night will show you that the issue is very important. I don't know why you are treating it as if there's no problem. That is the truth, Your Majesty. There is no problem. You are only disturbing yourself. Eche, Ugo Belonoj. Did you understand what we said? The prince, heir apparent to the throne of Okwe Kingdom, is nursing the idea of marrying a woman from another kingdom. And if I may ask Obwe Fiobukalo, is there any problem if our prince marries from another kingdom? Both of you shall understand that we are forbidden from imposing a wife on that young man if his choice of wife is not found in Okwe Kingdom allow the young man to marry from any other kingdom Ugo Benoji why am I having the feeling that you are against me? 
why must you support that which will terminate royalty from my lineage? And you say you are working with me? Your Majesty, did I hear you say that I, ah, you go Bernardi, I'm supporting what will terminate royalty in your lineage? Your Majesty, tell me exactly that I am supporting. If we support or if we allow the prince to marry the woman from another kingdom, the offspring from that foreign woman will not be allowed to ascend the throne after my son. <laughs> then we have terminated royalty family. <laughs> If only I'm a robber, your boy, I have one near for a boy, Jiche. Near for a boy for you, Pumoru. Your Majesty, your fear can only become real if our prince marries from another kingdom without the blessing of Odalonu. The mad peace of the gods. I am interested in knowing what you mean by that. <laughs> Send message to other kingdoms around and even beyond. Inform them that our prince desires a wife. Let them send their beautiful maidens to appear before our prince, right before Odalonyo Watri. Any of the maidens that our prince selects before Odalonyo Watri shall receive. Lesson from that sacred tree. Her child will definitely emerge a king after the father. What we have now is very important information. Yes. And I'm sure that uh, the chief priest will never ever reveal it to anybody mm -hmm. as he did it the other way. Mm -hmm. So we better hold on on the information. <laughs> My king, what do you mean by hold on to the information? You have already got the prince mm -hmm. by telling him that his son will not ascend the throne as a king if he marries from another kingdom. Yes. Eh? So I'm sure that by now, will be thinking less of rejecting my mom. <laughs> eh? They will be thinking less of rejecting mm. So, keep what the peace priest have told you now. Yes. Secret. Mm. I'm sure we'll die. Nana will marry my mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 my king, I, I am sorry. Uh, you too. Also, we have to withhold this information from your wife, the queen. Because if she hears it, it's as good as the prince has had it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm the king. Yes. Eh? Trust me in such matters. Eh? I'm the king. Igwe. Trust me. Igwe. Hmm? <laughs> good night. Good night, Igwe. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Why are you standing there looking at me like a missing child? What is it? My prince, there is something important I wish to tell you. Something of great importance that could bail you from your dilemma. But the unpopular order you place on me has not allowed me to say a thing and I will not talk. Uh, the order is temporarily lifted, so you speak. Yeah. Thank you, my friends. Yeah, see, my prince. Um, if you marry from outside the kingdom, you would have succeeded in terminating royalty from your family. And I know you don't want that to happen. Hmm? And uh, the maiden they groom for you, it's not up to what you want. Well, you shut up. That's not what I told you. I never said she's not up to what I want. But why will you reject a beauty as one, Yemma? Because even in her beauty, she does not appeal to me as a wife. I need a woman who will appeal to me as a wife. My prince, that brings me back to what I was about to tell you before you cut me off. 
Eh? Why not look in words? In words where? Yes, look in words, starting with the palace. I mean, take a look at Ugubi, for example. She could pass. Don't see her as a maiden. See her as someone that could pass for the queen. He said he wants to marry you, and I want to know the meaning of that. Ha! Ah, Chidofo, that's because I'm surprised about what you just said. Ah, I don't have anything going on with Ekulukaralo. Eh? Why will he tell you he wants to marry me? Eh? Without telling me anything about it. Do you know what? Do you know what? I have this feeling that you are a flat in this kingdom. Chinikimi! Chidofo, that's an insult, and I will not take it. Ah, why will you call me a flat? Why? Ah. Okay. Swear. Swear on this that you don't have anything to do with him, Oya. Yeah? Why would you ask me to swear an oath? Because Why? something is telling me that he has tested the woman in you. That's why he had this audacity to say to me as she back off that he wants to marry you. Swear on this to prove me wrong, Oya. Yeah? I hope you both realize the implication of what you're doing. An unmarried man standing loosely beside an unmarried woman in the corner, in the dark, at night. Hmm? It's not a decent sight too. I hope you people know. Jidofo, that, that's my father's sleeve. Eh? I'm sure she's going to tell my father that she saw me. I have to go home. Have yes, come on. Hmm? Listen to me. We know who is who in this kingdom. That's your father's sleeve. Huh? Yeah. That is what you call her. Yes. She is miles ahead of all of you in this sense in this kingdom. Hey. And you know what? Huh? See, you just refuse to swear an oath. Do you know why? The why is that you. You'll be sleeping with Ekulukola in this kingdom. 
and let me tell you i am saying it now and right here i'm going to make sure that i rubbish your reputation in this kingdom will you bet it bet me your honor It's me, uh, I got now. Uh... I got now. I want you to forget all the men in this kingdom that had you already. Forget them. I'm not bothered about them. I see that as what you did in your ignorance. And one thing about me is that I am not going to allow what you did in your ignorance. They are your wrongs. I won't allow your wrongs to hurt you. In fact, I am going to assist you to right your wrongs. Does it mean that a good car is actually better than all of them? Papa? Papa? Yes? Oh. He didn't have any to sell to me. When I got to his place, he said when he was returning from Obolo, some men met him on the way and bought all he had tapped. Hey! How would he sell all he tapped? Huh? I want to... All right, um, call a gunner for me. I said, call a gunner for me. Papa, gunner is not in the compound. How do you mean? Who told you that? Huh? Are you trying to tell me that a gunner could leave this house at this hour of the night and you did not tell me? I didn't even know when she left. That same Ibuluka that same young man that has no class, is sleeping with the top of Let it not be that it's your PSC is right. Huh? And where are you coming from? I am asking you, where are you coming from? Papa, are you questioning me before this one? Papa, it's not fair. Papa, good night. I hope you're not angry with me because of the lies your slave told you about me. She didn't tell me anything. Are you confirming to me that she knew where you went to and she lied to me? Should we stand here and talk? I only went for a walk, eh? And now I'm back to sleep. Hmm? Is it not better we talk about this tomorrow? Eh? Be cool. Hi, na mama. Hmm? <laughs> Catch you for oh? Good night. Papa. You're not cautioning Ogona as you should as a father. She is really going out of control. Shut up. Remember, she is your twin sister. It's not everything that you will say about her. Papa, Ogona sneaks out of this compound regularly every day. I have tried to talk to her, and you should talk to her because she is really going out of control. I am not there.
meaning of that now? Why did you kick me? And why would you even kick me at all? Oh, who did Kagi? Eh? Thank your stars that you didn't tell my father anything. More Moya, you would have been dead. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Chai. No beef, Look at you. I will not participate in the process that will lead to your destruction, and that's because you're already destroying yourself. Now, if you know what is good for you, get out of my sight. Bia, 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 bia. Wongo, is it me you're talking to? Eh? Ogonna? Eh? Is it me? Where before? Is it not just you? Are you still coming? Look at me. Listen to me very carefully. I forgave you the first time because I believed you were drunk. Now, Obona Ogona, Obona Mogi, Ogi Ogona, and you have no fear in you. Probably have extra energy plugged in your system somewhere. Try me. Mwamozo. Try me. Obuna me chiri go ono nana. Chikwa si chagi. Chipu gezi ni ni dogo ono. Ema no abro mwa. Try me. Ano mpama. Ana po wogo ono. Ego ulo mwe. Okwagi. Okwagi. Tansi ya po. Don't worry. Tansi ya po. Aiga honi re. Zizwa. Aiga honi re. Zizwa. Don't worry. I overheard her telling someone that she was coming to this forest to face firewood. And that girl, I know her very well. She will never say she's coming here and go somewhere else. So I believe she's here. You may go in and look for her. I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Uh, please wait with just one minute, please. Uh, I do appreciate your assistance. Uh, this is just to say. Any problem? I know about this necklace you are giving me. Okay. Very expensive. <laughs> this necklace is made in Opwe. You are right. And to the best of my knowledge, it is worn only by men who are categorized as mighty in valor. <laughs> so a common man like you, where did you get it from? You stole it? Are you giving me stolen item? Now, listen. We do so many things in Opwe. Stealing is not part of it. Do have this as a gift for me to you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and, 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 now that we are friends, I believe I cannot guide you. Okay. When you finally set your eyes on that maiden, do not attempt to rape her. Right? I'm telling you because here in Izuka, there are two men. Then we are thoroughly beaten by her. That maiden fights like a warrior because she is affiliated with the gods. Be careful with that maiden. <laughs> Thank you so much. Best of luck, my friend. Is this not a forest that she said she was coming to? 
Why is she not here? Oh. Is she no longer the decent girl that they've all talked about? Why is she not here? <laughs> Find me. Who are you and why are you following me? Beautiful maiden of Ezuka. My name is Nana. I am a man from Oku, as you already know. Please, I need a favor from you. See, follow me to Oku. I want to show you something. My dear good man of Oku, I like you. I like you because you have a voice and a positive attitude. I was hostile to you the last time we met, and I regretted that. I promised myself I wasn't going to be hostile to you when next we see. But please, you must understand, I cannot follow you to Okwe. Oh my God, please. Okwe is not too far from here. Look, we can even go and come back before lunch. I promise you. I am sorry. Don't push it. a man with a cake of wine. It could mean a lot of things. But I will not want to put words into your mouth. I will want you to go straight to the point and tell me your mission in clear terms. <coughs> when you give me go ahead, I will go and bring my people. This is just the first announcement and the man is expected to come alone. So that's why I'm here. Yes, um, <laughs> you see, it depends on what you came to announce. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much. Um, I'm interested in work. I want her to be my wife. You are the one she calls father. And you're the only one that can make it work. So that's why I'm here. Beautiful. 
you are a fool. Yes, you are a fool. Uh, 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 why will you call me a fool? I called you a fool because in that are fool, son, you have no eyes. That is why you came into a family that has two beautiful daughters. Two beautiful daughters. And <laughs> you have just settled for a, a maid. I mean, house help. Yes. Hey. Um, but to be with you, I am the one getting married here. I am the one getting married here. And I know the kind of woman I want to marry. That poor girl. That has help. That has distinguished herself in services and in decency. Please, Obuevi. She's the one I want to make my wife. Please, give her to me. Jidofo. Leave my compound. Uh, I said, leave my compound. Now. Obuevi, this is not fair. This is not fair. You're not being fair here, Obefi. Huh? Be like a father to her and give her to me as a wife. See, I promise to be the best husband she will ever have in her life. Don't Please. leave my compound this minute. I will not be responsible for what happens next. Leave. Uh, uh, uh. for leave my house. Come back here. Come and carry this your cost one. Take it away. I said, move. You are trying my patience. I say leave. Why are you blocking my path? Is it because you have a eh? <laughs> that is why you have the right to call yourself a man. Eh? Wait. Are you insulting me or what? <laughs> call it anything you like, Jidofo. That is not my business. Mm -mm. But I'm warning you. I'm letting you go today. Eh? Because you must have told your fellow fools that you're coming to our place. And they'll come tracing you if anything happens to you. <laughs> but I am warning you today. <laughs> Continue to hide in this kingdom. Because if I catch you on a lonely path, any day, alone, I will crush you. Or God not have spoken. <laughs> Agonna, let me tell you, in fact, you are the worst fool to even think you can intimidate someone like me. Huh? What does she think she can do to me? I will not draw. Particularly interested in knowing how you got this necklace. Oh, my necklace? 
My necklace. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. It belongs to me. <laughs> Ekul, with you. Do you know what you are wearing? Yes. <laughs> this is Akalendin Zenozo of Owe. Yes. <laughs> Ekuli, the cost of this necklace is enough to buy young seedlings that can be used to settle more than a hundred farmers. Yes. In fact, this necklace remains the most expensive jewelry ever made by the craftsmen of Owe. So, where did you get it? Owe, <laughs> I am excited. I am excited because you know the value of my necklace. This is why I came to marry your daughter. Because you are a great man and your daughter is the daughter of a great man. I am happy because it takes a great man like you to know another great man who with you. <laughs> I have every reason to believe that they lied against you. Oh, with you. That is my problem in this land. Too many people lying against me. I don't know what my offense is. Everywhere they are gathered, they are lying against a poor carol. I don't know what I did. But sincerely, if I'm not bothered about all the rubbish they are saying, because I am convinced that if people are not talking about any man, then that man is nobody. <laughs> Never mind. Um, which of my daughters are you interested in? Oh, Bwifi. Here she comes. Ogonna, the daughter of Obwefi Onze of Izuka Kingdom. She is the typical example of Izuka woman who gets better with age. As we speak, Obwefi Ogonna here is the most beautiful woman in our Izuka Kingdom today. And she is the one I want to make my wife. What? Yes, my daughter. That is exactly what he came for. Judging from my interaction with him so far, I think he is noble enough to have you as a wife. Papa? Yes? Are you serious? Why would you jump into that conclusion so suddenly? Huh? You don't even know him that much. <laughs> my, my daughter. You see, you are still a baby. You don't know anything. You see, let me show you something. This is called Akale Ndinzenozo of Okwe. <laughs> See my daughter. Papa. Any man that wears this gets what he wants. <laughs> Akale Ndinzenozo. 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 <laughs> We have to go ahead and organize the event. The priest will be hold all the meetings, but he will not be able to pick any because he will realize that uh, no one is as beautiful as one Yuma. And uh, he will come back and marry her. But uh, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. What do I do? I hope it is not the same thing as imposing a wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, the medicine man from Mokum told me that he will not see beauty on that day. He will be thinking of the maiden we groomed for him. Greetings to you, my father, the king. Greetings to Welcome. my elder, the boy. I'm still wondering if you have decided to make me happy and marry the woman I found for you. Uh, father, the woman you groomed for me is not my wife. I know who my wife is. You sound as if you have someone already. Who is she? Oh, I'm still thinking. 
When the time comes, you will know. We shall no longer wait, my prince. We shall no longer wait. I don't want to impose a wife on you. The event has been fixed for the day after tomorrow. All the beautiful maidens will gather before Udalo Onyowa and you will make a choice. Listen to me. Hmm? I know what they are planning to do. They want to invite all the maidens in this kingdom. Maidens who are beautiful by their own standard. Now that is not what I want. If that is not what you want, let me know what you want. Are you possibly saying that you want to marry a maiden that is not beautiful? You shut up. Will you shut up? I've always told you, learn to talk less and listen more. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to go meet the chief town crier. Mm -hmm. Pay him an amount he has never been paid in the past. Mm -hmm. Let him go around this kingdom. Invite maidens. Not only maidens from this kingdom, from neighboring kingdoms. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now you know what to tell mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. You know what to tell mm -hmm. him. Now get out. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yes. Wait, are you actually telling me that you want to go and marry that girl? Uh -huh. I mean, Ogonna of all people. See, I can count how many men in this kingdom that have gone into her. Why are you men of this kingdom? Why are you very wicked, very evil? Everybody is looking for a maiden who is not spoiled to marry. And I'm asking, who are the men that will marry those ones who are spoiled? You, all of you. All you men in this kingdom, you are looking for virgins that are going to make your wife. And I want to ask, those ones that are no longer virgins, you men, we are still the ones that lured them in and took the virginity away. Now nobody wants to marry the ones that are not virgins. And I want to ask, will men fall from sky to marry those ones who are no longer virgins? I give it to you. <clears throat> Madam, I give it to you first. I have come to realize you are more mature than me. <laughs> you know what? Because I will never, nothing will make me to marry any woman that I can count how many men that have gone into her? The only thing I can take from this discussion this night is that finally you understand the fact that I am bigger than you in this kingdom. That is something already established that, that you are just getting to know. Ikulukaralo is bigger than you. Ogona is going to be my wife and she's going to be an excellent wife for me. There is nothing you can do about it. Do you mean to say that Obuefi Ibonze of all people agreed to your marriage proposal, he has no choice. Huh? He has no choice. Because he saw something bigger than 100 farmers put together. And he readily agreed to release his daughter for me as my wife. To him, Ogonna, his daughter, is entering heaven. I am that heaven. <laughs> The marriage is already fixed for the day after tomorrow. And I'm inviting you as my friend to attend with me. Oh, we are I can't believe that this is happening. 
Why would the Prince of Okwe choose the same day I have already selected as the day of my marriage for the selection? You cannot, Why? You cannot argue with the King of Okwe. That one is certain. So why should he collide? He is the King of Kings. In fact, he's the King of Kings around here. I want to give you advice as my friend. You know you're my friend. I want to give you my candid advice. Just postpone your event. Just postpone it. In fact, you're even lucky. How? The prince himself is still searching for a wife. But you? <laughs> you already made a choice in a maiden. That, in fact, a maiden that has just graced the nakedness of more than one, two, three, four, ten men in this village, including my... How dare you? You hit me, and I will do it again. I will do it again if you fail to stop saying nonsense about that maiden I've come to love. Let me tell you something. Any other time you open your mouth to say damaging things about that maiden or gunna, who is going to be my wife, I will kill you. Let me repeat myself. Read my lips. I will kill you. Because I'm a poison. 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 Don't allow me to punish you. I'm not going to kill you. In fact, you see here this copper they get a woman. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. Oh, my God! Come on, you have it. What is this? Is this love for spirit? Huh? Nothing on earth can stop the victory of love. Agony is for the weak. You are not a weakling. I know you to be a warrior. Warriors take their destinies into their own hands. That is what I want you to do. Wait, please, please, wait, wait, please. Don't go. Please. Guide me. Please tell me what I must do. A maiden like you should be in Okwe. Doing what other maidens are doing for before the prince. Why are you not there? Why are you here sitting, crying, as someone who has no hope? Come to my house this early morning. I hope there's no problem. There is no problem. I am just here for something important. In that case, can we go and sit down? Uh, you don't need to bother about sitting down because I'm actually in a hurry. Uh, did you listen to the tank crier? Oh, last night. <laughs> yes, I listened to the tank crier. And sincerely, I pity the Prince of Okwe. Pity him so much. Why did you say that? Because the Prince is still searching for a wife. Whereas I have already made a choice in your daughter, <laughs> it follows naturally that I, I am far better yeah, than the yeah, prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm actually here to inform you that your plan to marry my daughter is hereby postponed until further notice. Yes. Why? My daughters will be attending the event in Okwe tomorrow. And we start to talk about yours if the priest fails to choose any of them as his wife tomorrow. I come early to inform you so that every arrangement you have about our agreement tomorrow should hold on. Have a nice day. Why, why, why would we get select the same day? I already chose my marriage. Why would he go inside? There is a particular maiden of Ezuka Kingdom. A 
place she comes for this selection. You see, she has an affiliation with the gods and I fell in love with her the moment I set my eyes on her. If she comes, she's the one I'm going to marry as my wife. But my prince, if you ask me, I would say you are making a huge mistake. Mistake? Yes, my prince. A very big one at that. Why not approach the selection with, with an open heart? So that you can pick the best. Don't go into the selection thinking of a particular maiden. Because you will not pick the best. It will ruin the occasion. Yes. It's the best. Good evening, my prince. I humble myself before the prince of Okwe, my lord and my love. Your reign shall be great. My beautiful Maima, please rise, please. Follow me. Where are you going to? The king needs him in the throne room. Okay, okay. Okay, excuse me, my friends. Excuse me, my friends. My beautiful Maima, I assume my father wants us to talk. Why may I ask? I've lost count of the number of times you address me as beautiful. It baffles me, you hold me as beautiful, and you still don't want to make me your... Why are you doing this to me? Why are you working with my parents to weaken me? The event has been fixed for tomorrow. But why, why don't you allow me to make this selection in peace? Who am I to disturb you, my prince? I came because the king sent for me. I don't want to keep the king waiting. I know I shall be married to a great man. You're that great man. My beautiful Waima. By every standard, you are a beautiful woman. Waima, you have a voice, a voice that can melt any man. You have an unequal attitude and molded in the caliber of queens. I know you are hurt by my position on this. But please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I want to approach this whole selection with, 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 with a whole lot of concentration as a prince of this kingdom. Please. I am the one working closely with the prince. I know his mindset. He's not going to marry that maiden they brought for him. Tradition says she's not participating tomorrow because she has already been selected by the king. They invited her over so that the prince will see her one more time before the procession tomorrow. But that's funny! Huh? What do they hope to achieve with that? They believe he might still change his mind at this time meet and marry her. It was Ichi Obukalo who insisted that they should give them one more chance to talk her to Hey, why you ma? My prince, yes. The beautiful maiden left here in tears. What happened? My prince, I'm talking to you. What did you tell her? I told her the truth. How was it the truth? Listen, I want to be left alone. I want to approach tomorrow with every sense of concentration. But my prince, the, 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 that beautiful maiden I just left here for my double will. It's a sensation. I doubt if you can get any maiden that will come tomorrow that will equal her beauty. She's beautiful. My prince, she's gorgeous. Do you realize the implication of what I just happened? Eh? Do you realize it? He looked at her again and rejected her. Which means that your medicine man does not know what he's doing. Igwe, what he did is against tomorrow, not today. He gave me his word and I believe him. So let us not jump into conclusion. Tomorrow, we shall gather before the secretary and we will know whether he knows what he's doing or not. Please.
Agony is for the weak. You are not a weakling. I know you to be a warrior. Warriors take their destinies into their own hands. That is what I want you to do. Wait, please, please, wait, wait, please. Don't go. Please. Guide me. Please tell me what I must do. A maiden like you should be in Okwe doing what other maidens are doing for before the prince. Why are you not there? Why are you here sitting, crying as someone who has no hope? Wobla, do you know why you are not coming with us? You are not coming with us because you are a slave. Yes. The prince of Okwe is selecting a wife. And you know that he is not going to select you. He's not going to select you because you are a slave. So you have to stay back here. Clean the house. Fresh water and the firewood. And make sure you prepare something I will eat when I return back. My daughters. Papa. Let's go. <laughs> My master said I must not set foot in Okwe. Moreover, I'm a slave and the prince cannot marry a slave. That is where you're wrong, my dear. Your master has no say in this. The prince of Okwe is the only authority that decides. If he selects any maiden and such maiden is a slave, the stigma of slavery will be cleansed under the Udala Onyuwa and the maiden will become a freeborn. Stop your agony. Move now to Okwe.
Please, 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 for the friends. Please. Name? My name is Ekutos, my prince. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, my prince. I'm the daughter of Uzo Ibuki of Aobulu village. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my prince. That we, the medics of Hope, are not good enough for him. I'm even regretting why I came here today. Anyway, I am saying it differently because we need to open our eyes to see what really happened today. I mean, the insults. What insults? Let me just say, the prince walked up to you, stood in front of you, and called you beautiful. And now he left you to another stranger, a maiden from Mizuka, and called her the best. Is that not an insult? How could a prince, our own prince, call a total stranger the best? It's an insult. If you will listen to me, Adana, you will not drag this matter. Oh. Because the prince is being guided by the gods. And remember, there is a maiden of Adagboele that was groomed for the prince, yet he rejected her. If that one is not angry, we have no reason to be angry. Please pay us that. I can see that the maidens of a land are blind. I said calling a total stranger the best is not enough for the prince. He actually went after a slave. Listen, Adana. I see sense in what Epitos is saying. Oh, please. I mean, the prince is being guided by the gods. And we can't stand here and question his actions. Questioning his actions is the same as questioning the gods. I can see you are out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Both of you are out of your mind. <sighs> I think he has a point here. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. 
<laughs> I'm doing everything possible to understand. Why are you excited? I've been cracking my brain. Why are you excited? I am so excited because it worked. What worked? Why you think that sort type of nonsense? What worked? When the prince is already planning to marry the slave girl instead of the beautiful woman we grew for him. And you are telling me. You are telling me it worked. Yeah. Eh? You are telling me it worked. Just relax. Don't watch. Akwasa. Akwazi is the name of the charm. Igwe. The confusion that happened today were triggered by the charm. The aim is to confuse the prince. He will finally marry the maiden we groomed for him. So Igwe, be happy. Eh? Be happy. Be happy, Igwe. You see? I ordered you when we were leaving that you're not permitted to come to Okwe with us. Why did you defy my order? Papa, I didn't. I did exactly what you told me to do. I went to the forest to fetch firewood. As I was fetching the firewood, one woman appeared and told me to go. A woman told you to disobey me and you listened to her? I bring you great tidings of peace from Ezekiel 1 of Okwe Kingdom. Anybody here? Okay. Your life is hanging on the balance. So don't create any scene or make any noise. I'm coming. My royal palace messenger. You're welcome. Greetings. Please come inside. I must offer you color. My prince is devastated. I cannot think anything. I came here to fetch the slave girl that lives with you. She must return with me to the palace, now. The slave girl is not here. She ran away from the square and has never come back. As a matter of fact, I'm coming my daughter down. Uh, I mean my daughter who was at the verge of being selected. Uh, she's devastated as Prince himself now. The slave girl, do you know where she could have run to? I don't really know where she is now because I ordered her not to come to Okwe with us because the prince cannot marry a slave. But she defied my order and that tantamounts to date. So I haven't seen her. She is the chosen one. The one that consumes the heart of the prince. It would be suicidal to kill her. So don't think about it. I'm very surprised uh, you are still calling her the chosen one when I have just told you that she is a slave. How can a, a, a prince of Okwe marry a slave? How can? She is the chosen one, like I said. However, the prince asked me to give you these. Return the slave girl to him and you'll be a happy man for the remaining days of your life. And these, you will have more. It's all right, I'll send my greetings to the priest. Uh, I will look for the slave girl and bring her to him. I take my leave. Uh, with you. I have been engaged by the Prince of Okwe. So presently, I'm looking for him. I will come back later for us to discuss. It depends on your reason of coming back. Because as you can see, what we have at hand now is bigger than your former proposal. And I advise you leave me for now. Leave me for now. Hi, Ogonna. Ah! I will make your life miserable. You will see. Mwah! 
Why in this world are you smiling? Eh? Are you making a mockery of me or what? I have encountered him severally in the bush as a commoner. I didn't even know he is the Prince of Okwe. There you are killing yourself. Myself before Bufi Unze, the greatest young farmer of our Ezuka kingdom. You shall live long. What is the meaning of this? Kneeling down before me. Uwevi. Ever before I made up my mind to make Ogonna your daughter my wife, I heard a lot of damaging things about her. I ignored everything I heard because. I love her so much. As we speak, Obwefi, Ogonna, your daughter, is the woman in the center of my life. And I can lay down my life for her. I have come before you again with the best of wine to plead with you to allow me to marry the woman I love. Obiko. Ekulka, if you continue like this, I will be forced to believe what I heard about you before. Eh? That you have no class. Obu Ebunu Ekulukara Lo of Izuka Kingdom is a man of many sides. Anyone that says I have no class has no class because it takes class to see class. I came before you to plead with you to allow the slave girl living under your roof to be married to the priest of Okwe. Because she is the one he loves. You cannot impose Ogonna on the prince because right before everybody, he rejected Ogonna. Because, as you can see, the slave girl is nowhere to be found. And I cannot make the prince to marry the woman that is on the road. He will marry Ogonna because she remains the one that stole his heart before the Odala Ono. What you have to do is to look for someone to marry. The Ogonna you seek has been taken by someone who is mightier than you. It's enough. Stop doing this. Ogonna. <laughs> Something tells me you're still excited about what happened at the Secretary of Okwe. Now tell me, why are you still excited? <laughs> Maka, he held my hand and said that I remain the best he has ever seen. He already asked me to follow him and I'm sure he was going to introduce me to the king before that witch that my father brought from Odias, he ruined everything. Ogonna, my dear sister, if you will listen to me, Forget the Prince of Okwe and marry a Kulukaralu. Please. Why would you say a thing like that? Huh? Who is a Kulukaralu? Eh? Oh, you don't know him anymore. I'm a I said, who is a Kulukaralu? Eh? Why in this world would you ask me to forget the prince who already called me the best before everybody? Why? Huh? Oh, yes. He said you were the best. And then something mightier than you forced him to drop you before everyone. <laughs> My dear sister, he gave you the humiliation of the century. And I'm really bothered that you're not thinking. Ikulukaralo has continued to beg you. Remember, 
Remember that this is the same man who knew all the men you went in with and still he wants to marry you. That is true love. And that is the kind of man you should think of getting married to. Not the Prince of Okwe who doesn't even know what he wants. <laughs> you not <talking. laughs> Amaka one name. That's where you got it wrong. The prince already knows what he wants. Oh, Mwakonacho. Ogonna. I am what he wants. And let me tell you, by the last AK of this month, he will make me his wife. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Okay. Watch and see. You are now my friend. And I have to guide you in everything. You deserve the best. Thank you very much, my prince. You see, I was scheduled to marry Ogonna. That very day, you chose for your selection. If not for your selection that coincided with my date, Ogonna would have been married to me by now. In fact, she would be, she's supposed to be living with me as my wife. She is my best, the one I love so much. This is why I came all the way from Ezuka, from Ezuka to meet you here in the Palace of Okwe. To plead with you, my prince, to please leave Ogonna for me. Mm. Miko. <laughs> my interest in Ogonna evaporated yesterday. In fact, I'm not going to marry her. You are a good man with a good heart. A heart to listen to the plight of the poor and the downtrodden. Thank you very much, my prince. Is there a way you can send words across to Obufi Onze and tell him what you have just concluded, what you have decided, so that? He can allow me to marry Ogonna, please. I said you deserve the best. Ogonna is not the best. And you're not going to marry her equally. My prince, how could you say thing like that? You don't know her at all. I do not need to know her, my brother. I do not need to. Listen. My, the chief priest of Okwe Kingdom spoke with me yesterday. He opened my eyes to so many things. Really? That Ogonna is ill. Lose die. She's a useless woman who doesn't have control. Do you know that every man who ever desired her actually had her? He knows all that. She's a real definition of a scarlet woman. Let me tell you the truth. I would have made the biggest blunder by making her the queen of Okwe. If not for the gods. It would have been a disaster. Hey. I'm so surprised to see that the gods are involved in this. I found out. I did. You know that uh, a slave girl did not want to attend the selection. In fact, Obwefi Ponze barred her from coming because she's a slave. It was the gods who went to her in the form of a woman and convinced her to come. She's the one I want to marry. My prince, this is not very complicated. Because Mogo, you're talking about, Mogo has been missing from Ezuka. Nobody knows where she is. She knows that Obwefi Onze will kill her for disobeying his orders. As a result of that, she, she ran away. And ever since that time, nobody has seen her in Ezuka. Hmm. The last Eke market day of this month has been fixed for the marriage. I just hope a miracle happens and those I sent to find her, find her. In fact, any man who finds her automatically becomes part of the ruling class, you know, and shall benefit from the gains of the land. So what happens if by the last take care of the month, the slave girl is not found? Well, I'll just settle for Waima. Uh, Waima is uh, the beautiful maiden my parents have been coming for me. In fact, she's an excellent woman. The only problem I have with her is that she knows too much about me. She, 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 she has been groomed for me. She has been taught about me. Everything. She knows what I will do. She knows what I will not do. In fact, she can predict me with intimidating accuracy. That's my only problem with her. But if you ask me, that is good. It is good for somebody to have a wife like that. A woman who understands him. A woman who can predict him the way you have just described it is good, my prince. No, maybe to you, not to me. I, I don't believe a woman should know a man that much. No, it's not good. Uh, that's not what I want. 
Well, if I cannot get a slave girl, I'll just settle for my Emma. Hmm. <laughs> this is your call. Emma, you don't want girl. Look at the and I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not You are the man of the house. And you are the one to give out your daughter in marriage. We have come in peace. And I'm pleading with you to do what you are supposed to do as the man of the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are way back. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> His name is Okadike from Abulia village. He has arrived with his kinsmen. They came with all these gifts. Is here to seek for your hand in marriage. Personally, I see nothing wrong in it. Because I know his family very, very well. My daughter, if you walk away from here now, that shows that you are not interested in why we are here. But if you collect this one from my hand, drink from it, and then pass it over to him in my presence, that will show that you are interested. And I will take it up from there, my daughter. in this land and many of them are more beautiful than my daughter so why did you settle for her she's the best that's why I settled for her we know who is who in this kingdom you see Amaka is one of the women that have separated themselves from the corruption of men. She is qualified to be married to a man that will cherish her qualities. And I humbly submit to be that man. She accepted me in peace and she will live in peace all her life. Oh, that sounds impressive. <laughs> you know that her twin sister will be getting married to the Prince of Okwe come the last decade of this month. The only implication I see there is that you are going to be the co-in-law with the Prince of Okwe. <laughs> I think that should make you happier. Uwefi, I still wonder what the Prince of Okwe found in Ogonna. What do you mean by that? Eh? You see Uwefi, Ogonna and Amaka are the very perfect explanation of the saying of our people. Ofun nenamu Meaning, though they are twins, Ogonna is the perfect definition of a scarlet woman. But Amaka represents decency of the highest order. I'm still waiting to see what the Prince of Oku found in her. Look at it again. If not for one, I would have killed you here now for making that stupid and nonsense statement. What do you mean by that? Hey? But Obuifi, you cannot, you cannot kill your in-law for speaking the truth. I will kill you if, if, if you insult me. I will. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Obuifi. I'm sorry. Any man who finds her, 
automatically becomes part of the ruling class you know, and shall benefit from the gains of the land. Oh God. Look, where can I find you? Where can I find you and benefit from the promise from the Prince of Oakwe? Where? Why do you sit here all day and all night hoping to find the missing princess when you have not made any move to find her? Who are you? Anyone that finds her for the prince will become a member of the ruling class of Oakley Kingdom and will benefit from the gain of the land. If I were a man, I will not sit in my house thinking, whereas there is something that can change my life out there waiting to be found. I don't know who you are. But listening to you, it is clear to me you know a whole lot. I don't know what you want from me. I have searched everywhere here in Ezuka Kingdom. Every forest. I've even extended my search to other kingdoms around me. And she has not been found. What else do you want me to do? Do you want me to relocate to the forest because I'm looking for a maid? You have not found her yet because you have been looking in the likely places where everyone believes she will be found. So far, she has not been found. If I were you, I would look for her in the unlikely places. Search in the unlikely places. Woman, where is the unlikely places? That she could be found. Keep on the one unlikely places because. Unlikely places. Is it in this kingdom? Or where? Look at that, Eva. Decency is a virtue money cannot buy. By every standard, you are a beautiful woman. You are qualified to be queen. I selected you because in my opinion you were the best. But he who communes with the gods, the ancestors of this great kingdom, opened my eyes. You are not qualified to be queen. Yes. Peace. You're not qualified because uprightness and decency are not part of you. You're not qualified because you have been living the life of a scarlet woman. I selected you in the presence of everyone here. I am also rejecting you in the presence of everyone. Yeah.
unfair one. How many times? Why did you find her? Papa? Yes. She looks as if she's going to die. Yes. She doesn't deserve to leave. She's a slave. She will die here and nobody will perceive the order. Because the liquid I force her to drink will not allow her body to decompose. Okay. I will figure out how to get rid of her body. That saves her right. Yes. You see, you are my daughter. You are going to marry the prince of Ogwe and nobody will do anything about it. Um, don't let your sister know about this because she is a weakling. She will let others know this secret. Okay, Papa. You can count on me. I won't tell her anything. I won't. I trust you. In the most unlikely place, as the woman advised, Partnering with Ogonna, the daughter. She was poisoned by Obuefi Onze here. Peace, peace! And he abandoned her in his band field with Yam to die. My prince, now I understand what you mean when you said she's afflicted with the gods. Because all these days we combed all the bushes and all the forests of all the kingdoms around here looking for her. She was kept in that barn filled with yams, in that unlikely place, and she was served neither food nor water. But she survived by the act of the gods. Stop the gods! Lock them up. Peace! My brother. My prince. Thank you so much. You are automatically part and parcel of this great kingdom. He is indeed a great man who has distinguished himself and part of the future of this great kingdom. He was saved from the scarlet woman because he deserves the best. Waima, you are the best. I pray the two of you find happiness and allow me to stay with the one woman who is the center of my life. My brother. May you all find peace. Father. This is the one woman, the woman who stole my heart, the woman who is going to be my wife, the future queen of this great kingdom. <laughs> Who are we to raise objection? When the gods say yes, who are we to say no? Many forces were raised to stop this marriage, but the gods have decided. She survived distractions. Come, my son. On this AKD, I bless you. 
He said, Tamo de co 